Hi, and welcome back to the Developer Show's coverage at GDD India. I'm Dan Kalpa, and here with Florina Mutinescu. And she's been working with Android developers around the world, particularly with architecture components. Now, how does architecture components change the way Google relates to Android development? Well, together with a set of architecture components, we're also releasing a guide to architecture. So, um, for a long time, developers have been asking us, what's the right way of architecting our application? Because, especially in Android, we have a lot of patterns. MVC, MVP, MVVM, MVI, MVC, V, yeah. So, developers wanted, okay, what, what's the right way? And then uh, we released a guide to app architecture, which suggests a way of doing that. But most importantly, what it suggests is having things separate and testable and easy to extend. What's the biggest benefit of the lifecycle aware components? We saw that there are some things that developers tend to do over and over again. And one thing is um, having components that react based on the lifecycle. So for example, you start subscribing or listening to uh, location services based on when the activity is started or you want to stop when the activity is no longer in program. This was usually part uh, of the activity, but now you can separate that in a different class and that class can be now unit tested. So again, it's all about testability and separation. How does Room alter the typical ways developers work with databases? Well, to be honest, for a long time, I was avoiding databases as much as possible. And what I didn't like was that it was so much boilerplate that I needed to write. All of those cursor get in, cursor get string, and then you keep on writing, and then you keep on copy-pasting, and if you're like me, you can end up doing mistakes. So all of that boilerplate that you need to write, now it's just gone, because Room does all of that object mapping for you. And again, apart from that, it also comes with a high degree of testability. So not only on creating the tables, working with the queries and so on, but also with migrations, because our app always evolves. So we want to make sure that when the database schema changes, we also provide something that's stable, that's robust, that our users don't have a problem with. Many of the components are already at 1.0, yeah. but you, you talked about the paging library here at GDD India. Now, now what does it do? Indeed, we released already the, the components that we announced at Google I.O. are already in, uh, in 1.0, they're already stable, but we saw that there's more need for components. So we started working on the paging library. That's now in alpha because we're still in work in progress with it. So what developers had was um, data coming from a data source, database network, and that data needed to be displayed on a screen, on a list. And then the role of the paging library is to make this connection between the data source and the recycle view as easy as possible. But I was saying that it's in alpha. So this means that this is your chance to help us shape the library, as you did with the architecture components so far. You've done such a great job giving us feedback, telling us what's missing, what kind of issues we have, what kind of stuff you expect to be there but are not. Please do the same with the paging library and tell us how we can make everything easier for you. Um, I know you've been talking a lot with developers here in India. Was there any interesting insight you found out about the local market and things that uh, Indian developers have to do to target it? So I heard that there are applications here that actually have, as part of their app icon label, something that says less than two megabytes or less than three megabytes, because that's the size of the APK. I think we're, we've been spoiled with the device size and with the network, and we don't realize that, hey, outside our bubble, people really care about the data and really care about the size of the APK. So developers here end up doing a lot of really awesome optimizations on the APK size. I actually even talked with a few of them, and it's going to come out later. But uh, I promise I'll give you a lot of insights on what developers here do also to optimize their, um, their APK size and other, uh, in general, Android best practices, which for them are a must. They're not just a shoot. That's great. So now where can developers go to learn more about the paging library and the rest of the architecture components? On uh, developers.android.com, we have extensive documentation on uh, the architecture components. We have advice on how to use the components and in which cases. And even more, if you're looking for code samples, check out the Google samples slash Android architecture components. You'll find there six or seven projects that target different, uh, different specific problems that architecture components solves. Well, that's great. Thank you so much for chatting with us, Florina. Thank you for having me. Please visit the description below if you'd like to learn more about the paging library preview and the rest of the architecture components. And stay tuned for Farina's on the ground developer interviews here in India. Once again, I'm Dan Galpin, reporting for the Developer Show from GDD India.